In this short video, we'll present DB2's Command Line Processor Plus, CLP Plus. CLP Plus is a command line user interface that allows you to develop, edit, and execute SQL statements, compile and run procedures and functions, work with scripts, and run command line reports. CLP Plus is designed as a quick, easy, and advanced command line tool for DBAs and application developers. Best of all, it supports SQL Plus scripts that many DBAs and application developers are familiar with. In this video, you'll see how to start CLP Plus and run operating system commands, how to connect to a DB2 database without cataloging it, how to load, edit, and run statements in the SQL buffer, how to produce easy-to-read query results using SQL Plus's rich formatting options. To start the CLP Plus tool, just type CLP PLUS from Windows Command Prompt or a Unix shell. Inside CLP Plus, you can run both operating system and database commands. In order to run operating system commands, just use host operator in front of it. For example, if you were running on Linux or Unix and you wanted to verify the existence of the file plsql.txt in your directory, run host ls grep plsql.txt. CLP Plus also gives you the ability to connect to any DB2 database without using catalog database commands. Just use the data server host name, port number, and database name along with your user credentials. In this example, we're connecting to the local database test that is listening on port 50,000. To disconnect from the database, Use the disconnect command. The SQL buffer is an in-memory working area where CLP Plus keeps a copy of the most recently entered SQL statement or PLSQL block. CLP Plus provides many commands to help manage the SQL buffer. Let's go through a small example. First, we'll load some PSQL code that is stored in a file using the get command. We've chosen a code sample that has a syntax error in it to illustrate how CLP Plus can help manage debugging and executing database code. As you can see, our code has been successfully loaded into the SQL buffer, and we could try to compile it using the run command. In our case, the run command fails with a syntax error. We can now edit the code in our preferred text editor using the edit command. Once the error is corrected, the SQL buffer gets updated with a new version of the PLSQL script as soon as we close the text editor. Let's run our PLSQL script again. Now it succeeds. We can execute our newly created PLSQL procedure using the execute command, but since our procedure displays some messages using the DBMS output built-in package, we need to set server output on in order to see these messages. To execute the procedure, just run the execute command with the procedure name and input parameters. As you can see, the procedure runs fine and we get a message back indicating success. CLP Plus has a lot of options for working with reports. Here is a simple query that displays the product inventory. As you can see, the output is wrapped and the columns with product price and inventory quality are displayed as regular numbers. We will now improve the appearance of this query by changing the output settings and using column formatting. First, let's increase the width of the output line. To see the current line size, we use the show line size command. In our case, it is 60 characters. Let's increase it to 80 to make the output fit the screen with the set line size command. Second, we will apply special formatting rules to the product price and inventory quality columns by using the column format command. For product price, we will apply dollar notation and for inventory quantity, we will apply comma separation between thousands. Finally, 
we'll display how long it took to execute this query by using the set timing on command. Let's run our query again. The query now produces well formatted output along with the execution time. In this short video we've highlighted some useful features of CLP Plus, but there's a lot more to discover. CLP Plus is a powerful and functionally rich command interface that provides robust and simple environment for DBAs and application developers for ad hoc SQL and PSQL development, scripting and reporting. 